Welcome once again, travelers, to another story. Previously, our heroes had set out west for Billy Spectre's great hunt, and had made it to the town of Shinar, where they had gathered information, a debt to be paid, and a tome of pyromancy. Now they set out once again, seeking a trail watcher named Atasira. Please join us once again for the tale of Sulphur and Saloons. We, during the night, could I have like so read a little bit of the book and no, like superior kind of like oh. attune a bit of it? Yes, a hundred percent. Yes. Um. So this book on pyromancy, uh, yes. is stuff you've never really even heard of, uh, and you're not sure you can really use any of this. You can try, but you've never really tried anything like this. There's a lot of like, um, in the Draconic section, you're reading mm -hmm. through it, there's kind of like some step-by-step -step instructions on different things. Um, and just kind of like how to do stuff. There's hand signs, there's supplements, and there's stuff that's like, do this to have this happen. Um, and it's all fire related. Um, Sweet. The yeah. heroes start marching forward and Shana begins to disappear from their sight. As they enter the Black Marsh proper, they begin to trek around the Southern Grove, trying to avoid Moltot's wrath. Right. So how far is it till the Black Marsh? So judging by where we are, we're in Shana. Well, the start Hi, of Mr. the Trail Black Watcher. Marsh. How far until the Black Marsh? There's, so you know the start of the Black Marsh is a, a variable, bordery, boundary kind of thing, but it's a general vicinity on this map is the cutoff. You just follow this river south. Uh, if you follow this river southeast in a straight trajectory, is kind of the border of the Black Marsh. Um, it varies here and there, but you can kind of just tell when you're there. It'll take like You'll a know. day and a half um, from here? Pretty much. You. It's probably going to take more like two days because you have to, if you are trying to, um, go around the Southern Grove, which is very close to Shinar. Um, Aren't we or trying to go around the Southern you could Grove? Cut, I you say could, we avoid the Grove. It'll take Any about two-ish okay. days, barring any encounters, into to get to the Black Marsh and right. the general area of where he gave you like a general location of where at this hero was last seen, um, uh, and it is near that unnamed town right now. Um, I the one above the M Black Marsh. Yes. Yeah, All right. It'll take you about two days to get there if you skirt around the grove. It'll take you a day, if less, if you cut straight through the grove. I don't think we should cut straight through. I agree. I say we skirt. We skirt could. Eat gang. We could cut through it. We I could run the odds. skirt. Okay. All right. Let's take it to a vote. I vote we go through. Anybody else? I think I win. <laughs> As we're skirting the black. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh -oh. Sorry, but not a during it was a good March. attempt at democracy. Uh, during our time of travel, work. I will continue yes. to look at the book, see if I can't pick up anything, maybe like a cantrip or something simple that Sounds my good. little cobalt brain might be able to understand. Like create bonfire. Or Sounds like good. Um, something simple. <laughs> fire. I would, I'll continuously I attempt pee my hand and he catch to like fire pee. <laughs> work through the book and be Fire like, and well, this pee? is really no. cool. I like the, all the draconic stuff. No, we just I don't really see many books peace. about we have that. And then the four nations <laughs> will be at peace. <laughs> but yeah, during our time right. of travel, I will just, at night, continue to read through it. As you guys kind of like move on from China towards the Black Marsh, mm -hmm. the terrain gets noticeably more rugged. Um, there's a lot more just kind of loose rocks and boulders around. The hills become much more less rolling and gentle hills and more st like straight climbs and steep drops. It's very, the paths you are following become much more twisted as they avoid treacherous areas around the Black Marsh and it gets much more uncomfortable to travel. The trees become taller and more gnarled. They become blacker, darker. The wood seems denser. Um, with a B. Epic. What is everybody's Baby passive perception, by the way? Oh. 10. 12. 16. 10. Jesus, what? That's pretty good. Mine's 16. Not. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm a wise man. Um, Still fails. Uh, so as you guys are kind of like walking along. Oh, no. That's a wet spot to my paper. I just ripped a hole in it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
uh, you guys are kind of walking along and you're passing through this area that is just kind of like boughs of trees pulled up over and it's quite covered. Uh, and ahead of you steps out an Erdekin. Spear in hand, uh, shield in another. He's like, Stop! Hold you, up. you know this means stop for the rest of you. That was an Erdekin. Hold up, hold up. What do you need, brother? Yes. Ah, you speak Erdekin. I do, I do. I'm on the trails myself. What do you do, trespassing into the Black March, unwise one? I seek Atta... How do you say your name? Atasira. It is Atasira. Not, this is not Atasira. Atasira is a female. That's what I seek, Atasira. Would you know? You seek the familiar spirit. I seek, I do. I have answers and... Oh, wait. <laughs> I have questions and they're needing answers. So if you could point me in the way, that'd be quite helpful. Yes. Well, I myself do not know. I have been on the trail for many months, but I know she is in the outskirts of one of the old villages Multat has burned. But um, I have not spoken to Atasira in many months. I do not travel with people of your kind, though. So. Why are you quite should? We could be fun at times, you see. Kind this little tiny one is an alcoholic. He surveys the party. Yes. <laughs> 99 bottles of beer underwater. Don't trust the red one. Please I don't. I prefer my solitude. But I do uh, accept you. I don't blame you, but all I ask is passage safely and soundly. You are respectful and I understand you speak the Urdican tongue, so I respect that. I wish to never encroach on you, Harvey. I respect that, and I thank you. I shall pass the word to any Urdican I see that you are not to be bothered, as you are not a threat to us or thank our you, people. Sir. Thank you. Of course. I very much. And he kind of bows, and he, he almost just disappears back into the trees. What'd you say? So, uh, ask him if he knew where anyone was, but none on that. But we will have safe passage from now on if we run into any other Urdekin. Well, that's good. They should let us go without harm. All right. That is phenomenal news. That's, that's really good. You'd I've think they would have done that in the first place, saying that we were originally traveling with an Urdekin. But, you I've know... Been, he I've ran away. about it the whole time. They don't traveling deep into the Black Marsh, our heroes camp out for the night, establishing a watch, unaware of the potential dangers in these lands. <laughs> We need Yay. to establish a watch. Uh, I'll um, take first watch, and I'll do I it. I'll do it watch. in my wolf form, wolf. so I can uh, have like a little height. I'll hearing. do the third uh, watch. You get advantage on any. I snow will take the final watch. Checks. Right. I guess we're each checking a watch tonight. Okay. I um, will take second. Each. You guys are gonna be betting down for what? Eight hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, Just hour, enough for two hour shifts for each of you guys. Sounds good. Um, I think I'm doing third and you're doing fourth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what, first, second, third, fourth? All right. Wow. Yeah, for you, that works. Um, oh, are you just kind of staying inside the clearing or are you sitting outside the clearing? Uh, I'd say I'm just kind of like circling perimeter. Okay. Um, give me a perception check with advantage. Yeah, 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 with yeah. With your yeah. smelling and hearing. That's a nat 20. Okay. Do it again. Um, Do it again. Double that. As you're kind of like... Not nat 20. <laughs> as you're kind of... Patrolling around the camp, your wolfy senses, you pick up a pretty distinct smell of wyvern. Uh, oh no. Uh, and it's kind of like, it's relatively uh -oh. far off. It's not like near you, near you, but it's close enough to where you can catch the scent of this wyvern. It's and you so know, like within a mile. Within a mile, yes, and right, a so I'm very gonna... faint smell of cigarette. Bad so I'm good. going to uh, <laughs> quietly the, the, wake everyone up. Okay, yeah. Oh, and then what were you gonna say? Um, then the rest of it is just like natural smells. Um, you catch there's a pack of wolves that you hear off a good several miles out. Um, but there's a pretty large pack oh, okay. that's about... So it doesn't seem that wyvern's moving close to us at all or anything? The wyvern's about a mile off, a mile-ish mile off, and the cigarette and wyvern smell are together. It's on okay. the same, like, band of smelling. 
Yeah, the I'll wolf pack is about five to seven miles off to your northeast, um, but it's a pretty big one. Um, then snap. there's some like prey animals around in the woods, um, but there's nothing super dangerous or anything that you manage to smell or catch out near you with anywhere within a near a mile. All right. So you still so, waking uh, everybody Since up? I know uh, everything, now I'll keep everyone asleep. Okay. Then. Since I know everything's like kind of chill, I'll just uh, take my watch, maybe uh, mess around with the prey animals in the grove while I hang back. You catch uh, yourself a little rabbit for a snack. Until our next watch comes up. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. I will take your spot. All right. Anything particular you want to do on your watch? I'm just keeping watch. Give me a perception check. Uh, are you breaking him down on what he told you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Perception, Honestly. you're saying? Yes. Mm, He'll figure it out. Where's that skill again at 13? 13. I'm sleeping in the bed. The woods, you're uncomfortable. Like, being outside of Rapture for this long, and you've never, like, the last time you spent the night in the wilderness was last night. We all kind of, or two nights ago. We all remember how that went. Yeah, but the Erdogan said they keep us safe. Um, but you kind of keep your eyes peeled sick. as best you can. Um, you're still a little groggy, but you just kind of fiddle with your toys here and there, but nothing big happens. Sweet. Right. Corvus, mm. it's time for your watch. Okay. I'm going to go make coffee now. Okay. Can I have a cup, please? Do the drop. Okay. Um... I'll drink the coffee and I'll start my watch. Can I have the weasel go look around and take the help action to yeah. get advantage? Yep, sure. Uh, 16. 16. Um, not bad. You're kind of just keeping watch. And you're drinking it. The coffee's actually pretty solid coffee. Um, and it kind of breaks you up and you're just kind of wandering around. Um, the day is starting to break near the end of your watch. Um, and your weasel kind of comes up to you and is like, and We do have telepathy, so. Uh, it's like, does it speak? I don't think it speaks. I can get, like, an impression. You get um, the it's kind of, sense of what he's It's kind of like running saying. around, and, like, you get this, like, flash, this telepathic flash of, like, not danger, but, like, hey, there's something kind of I feel that you should be aware of. Is How far away from me is the weasel? The weasel is like a good like 300, 400 feet off in the woods. With the wyvern close by, the party makes more progress to the land, all while Aboze attempts to get the wyvern's attention. I you guys continuing me. onwards? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, we keep walking. I'm walking with them. After another like good 15 minutes of walking, you, you see the <laughs> the shape <laughs> begin to bank oh, towards like the mean. trails of smoke. Is it working? The one that he did, or the one that we're walking the towards? The one that you're walking towards. Oh, this is perfect. It's going to show up right there. Um, and it kind of banks in what seems to be the far side of the trails of smoke and starts coming. I wave. Like, on coming towards you guys. I wave. And the trails of smoke, as you get closer, um, they you can start to smell the burning. And it's not like... Does this smell like town being burnt down, or it does not smell like it is not town being burnt down smoke. Okay. It okay, is like weird. cook fire smoke almost. Okay. Ah. So yeah, apple wood. There's some apple wood. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it tastes so sweet. Um, what do we approach? Um, and you guys kind of crest this like rise, uh, yeah. and you see below you the ruins of a town. Um, this was obviously some kind of. The M Town? Yes. You guys have reached town. the M Town. You guys are about a half a half a mile away from it now. Yay. Um, and it's the ruins of a town. There's some broken down houses and some larger buildings that are in shambles, but dotted throughout the town you can see some like campfires of where assuming some people have made a living out of this. Um, there's some houses that look to be much less dilapidated than everything else, and you can assume that those are being kept by some inhabitant of these people. As you guys kind of crest this hill, you hear oh, perfect. And you see the shape that was off in the distance is much closer now. And you hear the thundering Do people seem to be freaking voice. out in the town? Hello. Um, the town's too far away and you can't really see anybody. You just see like the smoke mm -hmm. of the fires as they're quite obscured from 
the actual fires themselves are obscured from everyone's sight. Is the sight. dragon just kind of like landing and chilling, or is it As landing and attacking? Coming closer, if you guys want to, if you guys would like to roll perception check, you know. Yeah, wrong. Can I use one twenty one? Uh, ten. Yeah. Yeah. Ten. Eight. Oh, natural twenty. Uh, twenty. <laughs> All right. So uh, 22. You guys are like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Here it comes, here it comes, here it <laughs> comes, here it comes. Here <laughs> comes. <laughs> Grabbing my gun. As you guys kind of like peer closer, we're preparing you can for a tell, hunt. They're you guys know that this buddy. isn't a dragon. This is a wyvern. Oh, um, that's not as smart. And the wyvern is... It's an old wolf riding the wyvern. As you kind of like look closer, you can see what look like leather straps and buckles across oh. its chest and running along to its back. And as it kind of lands um, a good like you know, a couple hundred feet out from you guys, you see on its back a shining gold dragonborn um, oh wearing your classic western sheriff clothes. Oh, this is That's the, a man is this I the want to talk guy? to. You. I'm running at him. Oh my I'm running at him. Oh, like, wait, oh, there's sheriffs on the wyvern sometimes, yep. aren't there? I'm running at him, and I'm I want to talk to him. Oh, this guy. I'm a lot no, less I'm concerned no, now. I'm, first. I'm, I'm going to communicate this to poor Gnurf. We're rolling this. I'm going to communicate this to poor Gnurf. I've connected the dots. Oh, I realize man. what's happening now. 18. I get there first. I'm not going to stop them away. from running ahead. We're going to go visit the sheriff, man. I'm going to run up as fast as I can. 45, double it. This guy. These two are like booking it towards this sheriff. I'm just kind of walking at doing? a good pace. Right. I'll follow them at 25 hey, feet. Hey, 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 hey. All right. I'm like, uh, hey, I'll stick with As you kind of close in, you see this this uh, dragonborn is kind of getting yeah, off his wyvern. Do I recognize him? Uh, you do. I do. Uh, Don't you die. know this guy. Yeah. This is Canary Goldtooth. Yay, Canary! The, <laughs> the guy who has made it his life's mission to hunt down and kill the heads of Tiamat. <laughs> <laughs> Canary Goldtooth introduces himself to the heroes and invites them to stay in the small town he protects. Bose keeps his distance to avoid being the newest victim of the Dragon of Justice. And thus concludes this chapter of Sulfur and Saloons.